Hi, my name is Lori Backrack and I'm a urologist with Europartners. Kidney stones develop as salts in the urinary system that then, um, if they don't dissolve, become a solid you know, stone. And they are formed as a combination of diet, genetics, and the architecture of your kidney. When a kidney stone forms and you know, causes some sort of urinary problem, either obstruction or infections, it requires an intervention. And that can be external shocking with what we call external shockwave lithotripsy, where we direct shockwaves to the kidney stone and break it up and shatter it in place so that you can pass the fragments. Or it requires putting a fine telescope about the size of a mouse cord up through your urinary system, so through the normal drainage, no cutting on the outside, and taking a, a tiny little laser and breaking up the stone into fragments and bringing those fragments out with a tiny basket. The other option in more extreme cases of large kidney stones is that we actually have to put a puncture in the back, in the skin in the back, and go directly to the kidney and get the stones out directly from the kidney. That's called a percutaneous nephrolithotomy. And it's not done typically for kidney stones, but occasionally is required. There's two reasons to see a urologist for kidney stones. One is for an acute problem with a kidney stone. That's usually fairly obvious because if you have an obstructing stone or an infected stone, you're either having pain, infection, um, and, and that seeks immediate care. Uh, the other reason to see a urologist is if you're having frequent kidney stones, and maybe you're not actively having one, but if you've passed three kidney stones in the last five years, you should probably see a urologist to look into prevention. So here at Europartners, our urologists are capable of diagnosing and treating kidney stones and offering all the options for treatment, including a trial of passing it on your own, external shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy, and percutaneous nephrolithotomy.